we're here at the Swiss Innovation Day 2021 in Zurich and I'm here with Christoph Hoffmann, founder and CEO at 25 Hours. Christoph, thank you so much. Thank you. You've been on stage just now. You had a presentation about the bikini in the mountains and you had, were part of the panel where you discussed, among other things, loyalty. For everyone who hasn't been with us here today, what would you say were the three main points that you shared about the bikini that you would like to people to know? Um, I, I think I spoke a little bit about freedom. Um, mm -hmm. And that word is very important for several reasons. Number one, we more and more learn how important it is to keep a sort of independence when it comes to the relationship with the owner of the property. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about lease versus management agreements and um, we own the property on Mallorca and in Zermatt and mm -hmm. that's something which keeps me thinking what is the right way and how can you expand and how can you keep the or can you how can you create and keep a brand. So that's number one. I, I, you asked me for three things, right? Yes, I'd say oh, so. I, just, you can also I hope have I don't lose. Feel free. No, no, no. <laughs> um, um, yes, it's the the spirit of of uh, bikini. I, I spoke a little bit about uh, the bikini atoll and how we how the the idea of bikini derived by bikini atoll, the uh, nuclear, the anti nuclear movement, the hippie uh, movement mm -hmm. later on in the sixties and seventies, and a, a little bit of spirit of liberty and and you know not trying to do a hotel in which people are forced to do certain things. Uh, that's a little bit the philosophy of Bikini. And then last but not least, uh, what is the product? Uh, how do we um, uh, anticipate what people need nowadays? Is it just a normal holiday of a week with your big family, uh, screaming children in a ski resort? Or is it something where you come to spend time and where you find a place where you really want to be, um, maybe for four weeks, for three months. So it's very much about how can that product look like. And um, also, um, I heard through the grape wines that there is a, um, a change happening right now, right? You're CEO now from 25 Hours, but yes. now you just said for a few more weeks to come. Yeah. And that's because there's a change. Um, um, there's Ennismore, and 25 Hours will become a brand of Ennismore. Exactly. Can you tell us more about that? Well, it, it started back in 2016, where mm -hmm. we decided to uh, collaborate with Accor. We mm -hmm. sold, we uh, meaning my three partners and myself, we sold the first 30% of our shares. And it was already kind of a done deal that Aqua will take over uh, step by step uh, all the rest but we we gave ourselves the time to you know grow into that uh, partnership and uh, and now we accelerated the deal uh, especially for the reason what because Aqua decided to to make a kind of a joint venture offspring in order to create a new lifestyle platform which mm -hmm. is much smaller than Accor but big enough to become global and within this umbrella of lifestyle brands, I don't like the word, nobody likes it, uh, is going to be SBE or the brands of mm -hmm. SBE from the States. Uh, Faina will play a certain role, Mama Shelter, uh, Hoxton, Hoxton of course, brand. because yeah, it's right. a, 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 a more yeah. a brand and uh, Ma Mama Shelter and ourselves, so um, yeah. some others, Tribe, Soul will play a role there. So it's going to be a very interesting, you know, yeah. new, maybe one of the biggest lifestyle uh, hotel brands or brand collection which you may find. And I will still be um, part of it, mm -hmm. but not as a CEO anymore. Right. This will be Sharan and mm -hmm. Gorav uh, from Ennismore. Gorav comes from, from Aqua a long dear uh, partner and friend who we grew together with and yes my my future role will be to even more focus on trying to create new new and nice hope, hopefully beautiful hotels yeah it's a very interesting development and i yeah. take you on the hospitality so, and hotels because yeah. um well i've been to many 24 hours and uh, you clearly know how to do hospitality but if you would def like if you would explain what's what's the key aspect what is true hospitality to you what defines it? Um, well, we all know about the service and, mm -hmm. and the, uh, that part and that at the end of the day is the most important thing. So I shouldn't under, um, uh, I shouldn't, I should make a statement on that. But on the other hand, I'm very much focused on how to create unique and beautiful products and 
my my big benchmark are still the the beautiful grand hotels, the old legendary mm -hmm. hotels. I'm not a big fan of, with a few exceptions, I'm not a big fan of the modern new hotels or I'm very cautious about how you transform or convert the beautiful old hotels into something new. Mostly, right. Most of the time people screw it up for whatever reason. You have so many limitations in building, um, you have the wrong designers, the wrong idea of how to recreate the, the beautiful old um, hospitality and to me uh, what has been done over a hundred years ago is still the best you can get in a way and and we should not forget about this so this is my 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 big dream to recreate that you know old beautiful part of hospitality yeah, that's very beautiful yeah yeah and then monday is the day where you said um, you're planning to open in florence a, a new 25 hours yeah property. well not open but we we agreed with the uh, developers mm -hmm. uh, of the Florence project to take over and then we have a couple of days because we always mm -hmm. want to speed up to yeah. to open the doors very softly to the first guests mm -hmm. uh, which will happen on the 8th of September if nothing dramatic will happen and I'm very excited it's maybe maybe the the most um, maybe it's the product of which I'm the most proud well it's, no the destination of which I'm uh, very, very proud because Florence is, I mean, we don't have to talk yeah. about Florence. It's maybe the one of the most beautiful yes, destinations and us being in the center of Florence with one of the biggest hotels in Florence is really something special to me. Yeah. Um, and I love Italy. I love everything about Italy. So I'm very proud of it. And I know in, in each in each of our hotel, you also have a story around the, the, the rooms and the, the, the building itself yeah. and the brand. Yeah. What is the story in Florence? Well, first of all, but the story I we always loved it we yeah. became a little more quiet about that term storytelling lately because mm -hmm. everybody does it and it can be done in a very shallow way right. uh, but we we still believe that uh, and that also refers to the beautiful old hotels because there you have a natural story you know it's like yeah. uh, Badrut when he started doing his hotel it became it became a big big deep story over the years and we certainly copied it in a way in Florence we were very brave and maybe stupid uh, by using uh, Dante Alighieri and oh, yeah, uh, La, 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 La Commedia Divina mm -hmm. and I only realized that everybody did it like almost every street in Florence is named after something in uh, uh, La Commedia Divina mm -hmm. La Divina Commedia but since we have Paola Navone as a interior designer a very very smart and wonderful lady who maybe said those guys from Germany are stupid to come with this uh, story but she transferred it together with us uh, she translated it into something very different so it's not too blunt and stupid about that kind of storytelling. Mm -hmm. Come and have a look. We have uh, rooms where you believe you feel like in hell. It's going to be very exotic, almost erotic. We have paradise rooms. We have uh, uh, a lot of things which relate to it, but it's not too obvious. Right. I'm excited to see that one day yeah. again. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. Thank you so much, Christoph, for Thank taking you. the time. Thank and you for... uh, yeah, it was great speaking to yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you.